Okay. Thank you so much, Paula. Hello, everyone. A blessed new month. It's May 2023, and we are so grateful that we are here uh, and going to be listening to this opportunity. My name is Sandra. I am currently in the USA. I was asking um, earlier on, please put in the comment section, where are you joining us from? And I see that we've got people from all over the world. This just shows that this opportunity is global and it's available to anyone, no matter where you are in the world. We've got people who are in Africa, Zimbabwe, South Africa, people in Europe, Belgium, North Cyprus. I'm here in the USA. It's it's amazing how we can all connect on Zoom. So yeah, Doris, thank you so much for joining us from the UK. I see Tola also is in the UK. So thank you everyone for joining us. And um, I'm also here with my business partner, Mona Lisa, and we've got the Freedom Director, the beautiful Paula, <laughs> who's going to be presenting for us. Um, but before we get into that, I just want to say something. Um, a few days ago, someone asked a very good question in one of the WhatsApp groups that we have uh, for this community of property investors. And they were asking, why does our poster show a women only um, invite? And there's a story behind it. Everybody who is coming into this, um, you know, community who wants to learn more about property investment has a story behind why they started. And for me and Mona Lisa, we have something in common that we want to create generational wealth. We we have our parents, yes, and we Mona Lisa still has her mom. I my parents passed away, and we always say that when when our parents passed her dad passed away we always wanted to have something to inherit from our parents and I, I didn't get to experience that and I don't want my children to experience the same thing that if god forbid anything happens to me I'm sorry about the noise there won't be anything that they would inherit so we want to make sure that we leave a legacy for our children and there will be generational wealth that will be passed on and we've also realized that when it comes into the property industry, it's not very easy for women to get into the property industry. And we found that with Freedom, there's an opportunity for us to be property investors as a group of women, not just doing it as individuals, but coming together in numbers will allow us to become property investors, to become property owners within a short space of time. So, um, yeah, I, and I know there might be somebody out there who's thinking, why is there only a poster for women? This opportunity is for anyone, but there's the story behind for us. And this is why we love sharing this with a lot of women. It's our mission. And um, thank you so much for joining us. Whoever is on the call today, we really appreciate you. If you have any questions, please put it in the chat box or feel free to unmute yourself whenever Paula asks if you have anything and you will, you will be given the chance to ask any questions. So I am going to hand over to the beautiful Paula. She's all the way in North Cyprus, and she will be talking us through the presentation. Over to you, Paula. Thank you so much, Sandra. And uh, of course, thank you to Sandra and Mona Lisa for asking to organize this Zoom this afternoon. Um, as Freedom, we are always happy um, to assist people with calls like this um, and uh, you know yes as Mona Lisa was saying uh, the advert itself is about women in property but um, it really of course isn't limited to just women in property this is the opportunity for anyone to find out more about investment opportunities in North Cyprus. So uh, what we're going to do this afternoon is um, I have a short video presentation um, which will give you a little bit more of an understanding about freedom and also about North Cyprus. Um, and then I will be presenting a, a project, an off-plan project that is available in North Cyprus currently. Um, and I'll explain a little bit more about that um, as we go through. And then I know that uh, Mona Lisa and uh, Sandra have um, arranged for 
uh, one or two people online uh, to talk about their own experience of uh, purchasing here in North Cyprus um, and how it's worked for them. Um, and then we will have a, a question and answer session. Um, but as, Mona, uh, as Sandra said, if you have any questions that you think of as we go through, then please don't hesitate to write them in the chat box and um, I will address them um, towards the end. Okay, so I'm going to share my screen with you and as I say, show you a quick presentation um, that will just explain a little bit more about uh, freedom and North Cyprus. Okay. Welcome to Freedom and the North Cyprus presentation. Freedom are a marketing and consultancy company established in 2018. And we are here to help you buy safely and securely in the sun. We currently have offices in North Cyprus, Dubai, and a satellite office in Spain. This presentation will focus on North Cyprus. Here you can see a map of the island of Cyprus. We have three airports, Paphos and Larnaca in South Cyprus and Erjan in North Cyprus. The other red flags indicate the locations of properties that we have to offer. Some quick facts. We are the third largest island in the Mediterranean with an almost year round beautiful climate where you feel safe due to the low crime rate and in multicultural feel due to a rich history from the Byzantines to the Ottomans to the Romans and many more. But what are the other reasons for investing in North Cyprus? Our five star hotels offering amazing facilities such as spas, beach clubs and casinos and much more at far lower prices than would be expected for many Mediterranean countries. Here you can see a few of our five star hotels. Health tourism. Our private hospitals are fantastic with a wide range of treatments from IVF to plastic surgery to hair transplants. Full medical checks can also be obtained starting at around about 350 euros. These low costs are attracting medical tourism from around the world. Education is very important in North Cyprus, with over 15 universities offering undergraduate, masters and PhDs in a range of faculties and the low cost of private education. Again, it's no wonder that currently over 150,000 overseas students are studying here in Northern Cyprus. Freedom are here to take care of you and offer you the best developers, the highest quality and the best projects. Here are a few pictures of recent group tours that have come and visited us here. We have the best investment options with a range of properties from studios to five bedroom villas, from the seaside to the mountainside, and with a price range for everybody. Our projects offer completed, under construction and off-plan opportunities. Off-plan properties currently offer the best capital growth with projects seeing at least 30% capital growth from launch to completion. However, in the next few slides, we can show you projects where capital growth has achieved much more. Here with this project, which was launched in 2019, one bedroom apartments were being launched at £44,900. The most recent one bedroom property sold for £94,950. In this project in the Iskeli region of Northern Cyprus, launch prices for a studio unit were £38,900. These are currently all sold out, but the last Pro property was sold at 95,000 for a studio unit. This project also sold out 
uh, with launch prices for a garden studio unit at £36,000. Most recently, one came to market a month or so ago, and it was sold for £77,000. This property in the mountainside uh, next to a wine yard and a fully functioning hotel, launch prices for a two bedroom apartment were £96,000. The most recent property has actually just sold for over £200,000 on this particular project. Short term rentals are very popular in North Cyprus due to our climate, facilities and amenities. On average, you can expect to see at least 150 to 200 days of rental opportunity due to our extended high season. And the developers we work with are looking at different concepts which aim to increase the amount of short term rental opportunity for their investors. If you decide to invest in North Cyprus, then we have recommended lawyers who would advise and assist you through the conveyancing process to ensure your safety and security from beginning to end. Our developers have been through our quality process system to ensure that they are trustworthy, successful and produce the best high quality product. We can recommend Credit West as a trusted partner to assist with opening a bank account. You are able to hold accounts in Turkish Lira, Great British Pounds, Euros and Dollars. They provide an online app for full access plus support from their staff. If visas are required, then Freedom are here to assist you with this process. If you would like to find out more about Freedom, North Cyprus and its investment opportunities, we can offer you three nights free accommodation and an itinerary which will answer your questions and enable you to visit the developers and their projects. If you have any further questions, contact the person who showed you this presentation or visit our social media platforms or our website freedom-group.net but get in contact today to en enable you to find your freedom. Thank you for listening. Okay, so that was just a brief introduction uh, to freedom and North Cyprus and uh, a few reasons why people are investing in North Cyprus. Um, and as I said, um, I'm going to show you a, a project that we have currently uh, got as an off-plan project um, in the pre-launch stages. Now, just to explain a little bit, um, as uh, Freedom is a marketing company, we do offer off-plan, uh, under construction and completed units. Um, with a completed unit, obviously, it's something that has been fully built and is ready for uh, people to use. But of course, what this means is that the prices are going to be at uh, a higher level um, and the chances are there will be a very little payment plan option available on the property because it is ready to go. So many investors are opting for the off plan opportunity because this is where we have seen the most capital growth in projects uh, in projects um, over the last two years or so. Um, and often with an off plan project, uh, you will see from off plan to completion at least a 25 to 30 percent uh, capital growth in that particular property. Um, and, and we have, of course, as you've seen uh, in this presentation that you just watched, uh, projects where the capital growth far exceeds that. But we know that definitely you will get at least 25 to 30 percent because as a project uh, is pre is pre launch as those reservations and sales come in on the on the properties, uh, the developer will increase the prices. As the um, foundations are laid for the properties, the price goes up again. As the skeleton of the property is built, the price rises again. Um, as the doors and windows go in, the price rises again. So we can we can say that there is at least this twenty five to thirty percent. Um, increase in capital growth. Most of these projects are around two to three years. Um, 
but it just depends on the project. Uh, it can be less than that. It can be a bit more than that. So let me just share my screen again with you so that you can see this, this particular project that I'm talking about. Okay, hopefully you should be able to see my screen. Um, this is a project which you can see located uh, where my uh, mouse is. It's the two blocks um, uh, closest uh, to the bottom of the screen on the right hand side. And this particular project is called Aphrodite Aqua. Uh, this project is part of a larger project. You can see these other buildings in the picture. Uh, in this um, 360 presentation. These are all projects by the same developer uh, in, a, in a, a, a piece of land um, on an area called Gazi Verin. Gazi Verin is a very quiet area. Uh, it's very rustic. Um, it's sort of going back 20, 30 years. Um, and life is very quiet and very easy going here. Um, but you can see at the front, um, there is uh, closest to the sea on the right hand side, you can see what is called phase one, two and three. Uh, phase three is the taller building behind, it's called the wave tower, um, and the two phases at the front, phase one and two, these were completed about 14, 15, 16 years ago, um, and wave tower was completed about six, seven years ago. Um, so this is an already existing site. There are already holiday rentals taking place on this particular project. People live here long term. Uh, people have holiday homes here um, and on site um, underneath the wave tower, the tall tower at the back here, um, there is a um, gym area. There's uh, treatment rooms for massage, etc. There is a small jacuzzi sauna area um, and at the front of the project, there is a communal swimming pool with an um, existing restaurant, working restaurant. There's also an indoor pool here. Um, and on the beach front, there is a, um, um, a water sports company and also a four by four company. Moving to the left hand side at the back of the project, you can see three other uh, tower blocks, uh, rectangular blocks. This is called Aphrodite Park Residence. And again, these properties were handed over um, a year to two years ago to, to customers. Um, so these are now starting to be rented out as well. There is also some communal swimming pool area here, as well as another existing restaurant. So the site as the whole um, is already up and running. You can check it out on Airbnb, booking.com, um, and you will see that people are already getting rentals in this particular project. At the front on the left-hand side, you will see that uh, there are four sort of egg-shaped blocks right at the front and two more rectangular blocks at the back. This particular part of the project is called Aphrodite Wellness. And uh, with this is this particular developer over the last couple of years, um, just before COVID, they decided to take um, their development company in a different direction. Um, and they tried to find something that was completely different from what everyone else was doing. And they decided to combine property investment with health and wellness. And this is their biggest health and wellness project. Um, as you can see, just in the front of the two rectangular blocks, you will see um, a, a building. This will house their non-invasive treatment um, center. It will also have a large indoor swimming pool, a gym, a sauna, a spa, meditation rooms and treatment rooms for non-invasive treatments. Here you can see another building. This is going to be the fully functioning hospital. Um, so in this particular project, not only are they focusing on well-being and non-invasive treatments, but uh, the opportunity for invasive treatments, for treatments such as IVF, plastic surgery, hair transplants, for medical checks. So on this particular site, they are bringing together the idea of holiday tourism and medical tourism. This particular project that they've just launched, Aphrodite Aqua, there are just two blocks. You can see that they are slightly staggered. 
So uh, the, the front units of each block will have a C view. At the moment, um, it is just the A block, which is the block at the back, um, that is now for pre-launch and on sale. Okay, if I click into this part of the property, you will see their model for their one plus one, which is one bedroom and one living area. As you can see, the living area is open plan with a kitchen too. You can see that they are using floor to ceiling windows and doors to enable plenty of the Mediterranean light to come through. And if I turn this round, this will be your bathroom area and this will be your, your bedroom area. Again, those full height ceiling uh, doors enabling light to come into the bedroom. Uh, also a, a walk-in wardrobe, small walk-in wardrobe area, and then back out and we can just go back. You're seeing the project from a different angle now, you're seeing it from the C angle. As I said, the, uh, the, the part that is on the left-hand side closest to the C, that is the existing uh, project. And then on the right-hand side, that's Aphrodite Wellness and Aphrodite Aqua is located just behind the existing project. You can see also that they are uh, adding on to the C area. Currently, this particular location, um, it's actually 36 kilometers of coastline here, um, and it's very open. So it's actually um, well renowned for kite surfing, um, as well as other water sports in this particular area because it lends itself well. But what does happen is that the sand here, which is um, not a volcanic sand, but it is, it's quite a dark sand. It's not a yellow golden sand. It's a darker kind of sand here. But um, the, the waves wash the sand out consistently in this particular area. So in order to make it a sandy area, they are going to be putting in these wave breakers, um, which will enable, as I say, the sand to stay in place and for it to be more of a sandy uh, location. You can see there'll also be some piers out into the, into the sea, uh, which will have sunbeds, et cetera, on them. And then in the right-hand side, you can see that there's going to be a very small marina area. Just a few small boats will be able to uh, stop here. Um, there's going to be, I'm going to click on it for you now. Oh, sorry. I think it stopped sharing. Hold on, let me just reshare the screen. Apologies. Sorry about that. Um, there will also be some restaurants and cafe areas here as well. So you can see that it's actually a very large project. If I go back to Aphrodite uh, Aqua, if I click on this side of it, you can see their studio layer out. So a studio uh, unit is um, like a, a hotel room, but bigger than a hotel room. Uh, these rooms are, I think it's around about 34, 35 square meters inside. Um, whereas a, a, a standard double hotel room is around about 22 square meters. So you're getting the, the kitchen area as an extra. And you can see if I turn this around, this would be your entrance into the apartment. And then you would come into the bathroom area. Again, very clean lines, very modern. You have a small cupboard area here too, back into the hallway, and then you can get into the lounge kitchen area. Many people uh, that I know that have bought studio units um, have used sort of like a sofa bed idea so that it can be a sofa during the day, but very easily pull out into a bed um, in in the um, in the evening, and as I said, obviously you have your small kitchen area here too. Okay, what's uh, an additional bonus to this particular project is the reason that it's called Aphrodite Aqua. Sorry, the reason that it's called Aphrodite Aqua is that there's going to be a small aqua park. So with everything on this site. 
um, there are actually going to be so many facilities, um, something literally for everybody. There is also the penthouse. Now, in this particular block, there are 14 floors in total, 13 floors of what I've just shown you, one plus one or studio units. And then the penthouse floor is just one bedroom units. And this would be, this is what the, one of the penthouse units will look like. Again, open plan living and kitchen area with bedroom. Let me just go into the bedroom. With a bedroom area, again, really tall, nice, um floor to ceiling windows um, so that you can see the beautiful Mediterranean and the mountains and of course you would have access to uh, a balcony as well so with this particular project because it is pre-launch and it's only just been launched it's been launched now about 10 12 days something like that um, the prices for a studio unit here um, there is uh, starting from 60,000 pounds for a studio unit um, this is by far the best value prices currently to be found in northern Cyprus because it is pre-launch payment plan also has a good payment plan option to it. So for this particular property, um, you would pay a £2,000 reservation fee. That would take the property off the sales market for uh, three weeks. In the meantime, we would enable you to connect with an independent recommended lawyer. But of course, you can choose your own lawyer in North Cyprus as well. And uh, within the three weeks, you would be sent um, a draft contract um, for you to be able to read through, ask any questions that you have about that you have about it. And then you would be expected to pay a 30 percent down payment, 30 percent of the sales price. At this point, you would also pay 0.5 percent registration fee tax and 6 percent registration title deed tax okay um, and all of this information would be sent to you by the lawyer at this point your contract is then signed and registered at our land registry office once the registration of the contract has taken place your lawyer will uh, ensure that the funds are released to the developer on your behalf then from that point onwards you have 70 percent remaining that 70% would be paid by you directly to the developer because your contract has been registered um, and you would have 48 months to pay the remaining 70% at 0% interest. So as you can see, because you have the opportunity to get in at an off plan stage, you're actually getting the lowest prices and the longest possible payment plan, which always as an investor uh, means that you are able to make the most capital growth available. So that's this particular project. I know that uh, Sandra and Mona Lisa have um, some people online um, that are going to talk a little bit about their own um, experience of um, work of being with freedom and investing in North Cyprus. Um, Sandra or Mona Lisa, do you want to open your microphones? Hi, Paula. Hi, everyone. I think at this point in time, I'd like to call upon Tola. She was actually in North Cyprus just now, a few days ago. So we're excited to have her on the call. And she's just going to be telling us in terms of her experience, what was the buying process for her and why did she decide to invest? So Tola, over to you. Thanks, Sandra. Hi, everyone. Um, as Sandra said, uh, I just came back from North Cyprus yesterday and uh, it was my first visit there and it was exciting. Um, you know, I was blown away by all the things I saw. I have been with Freedom for about two, three years now and I bought uh, off plan just as uh, Paula described. 
so it was during the pandemic. All I could do was see all of these things on Zoom, just as we're doing right now. Uh, and I made that commitment. Um, the property was going then for 43,000. Um, it's in the Aphrodite Wellness Center. So one of those uh, four blocks that Paula showed as the wellness center, that's where it is. And all of that particular block is sold out, but the next block to it uh, is now going for 72,800, the same size studio. Um, and the process was once you've made your reservation, 2000 pounds reservation, then the 30% deposit is payable. I think that's after three, four weeks. Um, and then you get introduced to the solicitor uh, so on my visit, I met the solicitor as well, but I've been communicating with them uh, by email. They will send all the paperwork, uh, anything that needs signing, you sign, you scan and return it back to them. Um, so there is a very good process already set up there. Um, and then you, after you've done the 30% deposit, then you start making monthly payments, which is what I've been doing. Uh, and that will be for another three, four years, depending on the stage uh, where you bought at. So if it's under construction, then maybe you've got two years left. If it's a uh, pre-launch like we bought, then you're looking at maybe four years in, in total. So already it has gained uh, in terms of capital gains. And uh, it was quite exciting to actually stand in front of the building and take some selfies. <laughs> So it was an exciting experience. We went around on the tour, saw at least, I think, five of the developer sites, um, saw the projects, the existing projects, the one under construction, and saw the ones that had just been launched. So different stages, uh, met with uh, the bank, um, Credit West, met with uh, solicitors, and also met with um, the people who organized the medical tourism. They gave us a presentation. So we had several presentations. It was a, a, a whirlwind stop. It was exciting. Uh, the food also was very good. Uh, I have to mention that as well. So, and uh, three nights free stay in, in an accommodation. I was staying in a one bed apartment and it was really very good. Uh, the welcoming, uh, packet that I had. I had bread, butter, cheese, eggs, everything to make breakfast and perhaps even more, you know. So uh, it, they lived up to what they said. And I said to Paul, I said, I think you've underplayed this so much. <laughs> Honestly, I, I really recommend the tours. I really do recommend the tours. It gives you perspective. You know, now I know what the areas look like and feel like. So when, when she says uh, Gaziveri, uh, I've been there. Uh, Entepi, Esentepi, I've been there. Kyrenia, I've been there. So I know what those places are and the emphasis of each area. Some emphasize on maybe like a golf course, some em emphasize on the marina, some emphasize on the uh, wellness center. So it depends on what are you looking to achieve out of this? Is it just a, a holiday home for you? Is it an investment opportunity? Or are you looking to retire to North Cyprus in the near future? And these properties, these projects, they tick all the boxes that I've mentioned. So honestly, I'm still, I'm still on a high. I haven't quite come down since coming back yesterday. It's all exciting stuff, trust me. And uh, so if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. I think I'll uh, I've rambled on a lot for now. Thank you very much. Thank you, Tola. Thank you so much, Tola. So I got to know about you via Michelle. We're seeing all the updates on social media and we're like, we need to find, find you today. So thank you for taking time to just chat to us. Um, I see we've got Brunette, um, our one of our wealthy cousin friends. Um, Brunette, if you can also just... Oh, have your mic on and just unmute yourself and tell us about your experience this far. Are you talking about? Oh, Mona Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't planning this. I'm busy spying on you. 
<laughs> on your videos, on your presentation. How are you? I'm good, and we found you. <laughs> oh my goodness, I thought I was hiding, you know. But um, it's never a bad day with not Cyprus, really. Um, it's one of my most exciting places. Um, yeah, where do I start from? <laughs> Investment is brilliant. Uh, I know Paula won't know where I'll start and finish. Um, I can tell you the story, the current story, because there are many stories of Deja Blue. And I, I'm going to ask Paula to um, maybe show us just a bit and, and, and go through it. It was on the video where the garden studios were 35, was it 35, Paula? 36. 36, 36 yes. Um, it's almost come in completion now. So me and the wealthy cousins have invested on it. And uh, the price has doubled. It, it was during COVID time when we purchased ours, but I think ours were at 46 that time. Uh, and from my information now, if you have to buy any studio there, it's at 95,000. So you can imagine the return on investment or what it is just to sit and know that your money has doubled over the last 36 months. And it could be more, I think it's increasing. I, I don't know from Paula by the time uh, they finish the project. It's brilliant. It's my uh, retirement plan. And um, I've also invested in another one. That's another story. That one is more exciting. You just get out of your veranda into the pool so um, I won't say much about that one for now, but it's called Lighthouse. You can search for it. And it was the first one, number one G1. Um, we invested as women as well who want to create wealth. So we call ourselves the wealthy cousins. Our monies are doubling and you just pay over 36 months, 46 months. You don't feel it. It's a brilliant place. You go paragliding, you go for boat cruises. You see me on a jet ski. I can't wait to take my grandchildren there. <laughs> so why not invest in North Cyprus and come and join us anytime? Please, if they go, take them to Deja Blue and Lighthouse Paula. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let me just share my screen so that I can show Deja Blue. Um, it was a project that we launched literally three days before COVID hit. Um, and of course, the developer and ourselves were very, very worried um, about how it was going to go. Um, but we did actually sell around about 70% of it online during COVID um, due to, of course, at that point, the amazing prices. And as um, Brunette stated um, a garden studio unit um, launched for £36,000. Um, in the presentation, you saw that one came for uh, to remarket uh, actually a couple of months ago for £77,000. Um, they are all sold. There is nothing available on the site. You can see the site just here. Um, apart from two frontline villas at the front here. Um, everything else is sold out. However, just down the road, uh, the same developer has another site fairly similar to this one called Say La Vie. Um, and a studio unit did come back to market there last week. And it was at, it's actually on the market for £99,000. So over the last couple of years, the prices in this particular area have really, really risen a lot. This area is called Essentepi. Uh, it's a different coastline to where I showed you for Aphrodite Aqua, the current off-plan project that we have. Um, it is a very different coastline. As you can see, uh, the area that of Gaziverin is much flatter. Um, this particular area, you can see it's got quite a, um, a, a Riviera style feel because the sea and the mountains are very close together. Um, this is actually the main road that you can see with my, my cursor along here. And from Deja Blue, it's about 25 minutes this way uh, to Kyrenia, uh, which is the sort of seen as the touristic capital of Northern Cyprus. 
Many of the five-star hotels are there, of course, bars, restaurants, shops, etc. So it's not very far away at all. Um, about a seven-minute drive away from Deja Blue is our PGA-rated golf course, Corinium Golf Course. Um, again, um, Mona Lisa, Sandra, um, Brunette, Tola, they've all been to the golf course as well. Um, it is a beautiful course. Um, and people can just go there and have lunch there. You can go and have dinner. You can get a spa there. Um, so it isn't just about playing golf, um, but it's a great asset that, as I say, is about a seven minute drive away from Deja Blue. If I just click here, you might be able to see. Let's turn it around a bit more so we can see. So this is, as you can see at the back of the project, this is like the main road. Um, you can see that the block that's highlighted, these are one bedroom. There are one bedroom garden units and one bedroom penthouses. And then there are four blocks, two blocks on either side. They are all studio units, either studio garden units or studio penthouse units. Then we had three bedroom bungalows. We had two bedroom apartments and one bedroom apartments. And then, as I said, at the front here, four and five bedroom villas. At the very front, uh, there's the Deja Blue Clubhouse, which is going to have a restaurant um, and sort of a cocktail area. It also has another communal swimming pool there as well. Um, and as uh, Brunette said it is this particular site is coming up for completion um, the handover of these properties will begin I believe around summer uh, of this year um, it is looking absolutely amazing um, and like Aphrodite wellness where Tola has uh, bought um, the idea is that you have this communal swimming pool area at the top um, and of course, there will be sunbeds and, and cabanas and that type of thing. And then underneath the swimming pool are all of the uh, wellness facilities. So the yoga rooms, the meditation rooms, the spa, the sauna, the hammam, the indoor gym, the indoor swimming pool, all of those things that you might need um, for any sort of non-invasive treatment. Also, it means that if people are just on holiday, just using your apartment for a holiday, and they want to come when it's not our season, you know, our season goes actually from the beginning of May to the end of October. But, you know, people like to come on holiday in March, they like to come on holiday in November, prior to Christmas. Um, of course, with these indoor facilities as well, it enables people to do that. Um, yes, we do have a great climate throughout the year, but of course, you know, we do have rain, we do get some cold days. So, you know, if someone's here in November and it does happen to be raining, they can still go for a swim in the indoor swimming pool. They can go and have a spa and a massage. So it's about the facilities that are being offered as well. And with this, because it's all about wellness, of course, they've got fruit and herb gardens. Um, and, you know, uh, people will be able to go in the in those gardens and pick their own fruit and use them in their apartments if they wish to. Um, so it's it's all about um, the whole aspect of wellness. Um, and, you know, this was and is going to be one of the most amazing projects in this area. Hopefully, Brunette, that's that's given a good aspect of this particular project for you. Yes, indeed. Please show them inside. Do you have a zoom of inside one studio, please? Yes, let me just try to get inside for you. Hold on a second. Yeah. Let me reshare my screen. Uh, yeah. So this is slightly different layout to the studio units that are at Aphrodite Aqua, because in those blocks, um, the um, units are on angles, okay? These ones, it's completely square, but same idea. You come in the door here, you have your kitchen area. This would be your bathroom. And then you have your um, living area with your bed, etc., in it. Um, and of course, with a garden unit, straight out onto the swimming pool. 
if you had a, a penthouse unit, which would be above, then you would have access to your own uh, roof terrace. Now, in this particular area, um, the building permits are different. So in this area, in Essentepi area, um, they can't build any more than two stories. So that's why you either have a bungalow, a villa, or when it comes to apartments, you either have a garden unit where you would have a small terrace area, as you can see, um, plus some garden area, or you would have the penthouse unit as they're known. And again, you would have a small balcony from sort of the lounge area, but then you would have access to your own area on the roof terrace. Um, with Aphrodite Aqua, um, again, the building permissions are different, which is why you have these more uh, high rise buildings. And as, as I said, with Aphrodite Aqua, um, those buildings are 14 stories. So you have 13 stories of studios and one bedrooms, and then the penthouse floor, the top floor, is just one bedroom units. Okay. So uh, I've just I've just seen that there is a question. What is what is the requirement for the site visit? Okay, so for uh, if you wish to come on um, either our group tour or our um, inspection trips, we offer both. A group tour is something that Tola um, e uh, experienced. It's where uh, there are a mix of people. Um, Tola's group, I think there were, there was a German lady, um, there were some other Northern European uh, people on the tour. So it's a mix of people. Um, it's a great opportunity, of course, to, to meet other people from other cultures. Um, and uh, as Tola said, we show you four or five different developers um, with a range of product. Um, and uh, we also show you, we give you the uh, a legal presentation, we give you a banking presentation and a health presentation. Um, we just require you to send in your flight tickets. There are closing dates because we have to um, get the accommodation, we have to request the accommodation from our host developers. So in order to confirm your booking onto a tour, we have to have a copy of your flight tickets. Um, and then um, as the developer, the host developer will also um, arrange your transfer. So there'll be someone to pick you up and take you to the accommodation and someone to take you back to the airport as well. Um, transfers are payable by yourself, but those three nights are free. Um, if you wish to stay longer, you can choose to do that. Um, but any additional nights above three nights would also be payable by yourself. All of that information is sent out to you when you book onto um, uh, when you book onto a tour or an inspection trip. Um, you receive the information from us, uh, telling you which accommodation you're going to be staying in, uh, the unit number, the key code, uh, if there is a key code for that particular project uh, for that particular property. Um, also, your transfer details and an itinerary of the tour is sent out to you about a week before the tour begins. So we try to keep you informed as much as possible. Um, we also set up WhatsApp groups as well um, for during the tour so that um, whilst you're on the tour, we can communicate regularly. If there are any issues, of course, you can contact us uh, with the website, uh, with the WhatsApp group. Um, the tours, the group tours are he regularly held. Um, currently, we have um, two tours a month. Um, you can find all the uh, information for the tours either by um, getting in contact with the person that invited you today. Um, they will be able to assist you or you can go onto our website or just put that uh, address uh, in the thing on the um, uh, the chat group now. Um, uh, who are the potential buyers of the properties was another question that was asked. Uh, literally, it is everybody currently. North Cyprus is seeing the biggest increase um, we have ever seen, and, and particularly in the last two years, 
particularly in the last year or so. Um, we currently have buyers that have come from Africa, from the UK, from Ireland, from Canada, from America, um, Sweden, Norway, Germany, Slovakia, Lithuania. Um, it is, you know, it's a wide, wide range of people. It really is a very multicultural um, place to be. Uh, yes, thank you, Tola, for answering that question. There is, uh, with regards to visas, uh, if you are a British passport holder, if you are an EU passport holder, Canadian, American, um, as far as I'm aware, there are no visas required, or if they are, then there are online. Um, if you are traveling from Africa, for example, then yes, you do need to get a visa. Um, but um, again, it depends what part of Africa you're traveling from. Um, mostly I've dealt with those that are traveling from South Africa or Zimbabwe. Um, for those traveling from South Africa, um, it's an online visa that you need to apply for. Uh, if you're traveling from Zimbabwe, my understanding is that you have to go to the local um uh, the local Turkish embassy, which is based in Harare. Um, currently, I believe it's about a 12 week um, application time for the visa from Zimbabwe. South Africa is much quicker than that. Um, and you would also need an invitation letter from us um, with your dates and your passport details. But again, if it come when you know if you're deciding to to join us on a tour, then the person that invited you today would be able to give you more information and would contact us, and we would be able to um, would be able to help uh, with the the visa situation. What is the retention rate in the year for the renting of properties? Um, when you have uh, presentations from our developers. Uh, most of them, or all of them actually, they all have their own uh, rental management companies as part of their umbrella. So when they are talking to you um, about their projects and about them as themselves, usually they will uh, talk about rental being around about 150 to 200 days a year. That's what they base their figures on when it comes to uh, rental returns and things like that. Um, it usually is higher than that. Um, as I said, you know, we have an extended holiday season here from the beginning of May to the end of October. However, you know, no one will want to over promise and under deliver. Um, so they, as I say, usually they look at around about 150 to 200 days a year. Um, if you're looking at a one bedroom property, for example, um, I would say an average, um, to take it as an average throughout the year, you're looking at around about £70 per night. Okay, again, it can be a bit less than that, can be a bit more than that. It depends on the facilities in the project that you're purchasing in. It depends on, you know, the, the furniture that you're offering, the extras that maybe you're putting into your accommodation, you know, for example, if you, you know, put a coffee machine, you know, an espresso or something like that, uh, it's probably something that will mean that your unit would be something that um, uh, would be something that would be rented out regularly because people get to know, OK, this particular property has got a coffee machine, um, you know, so small things like that. Um, but as an average, around about £70 per night. Um, no, it's not timeshare. All of the properties that we offer are freehold um, and you have the opportunity to take the title deed in your own name once the property has been completed. So we don't offer timeshare. Um, I think I may have answered everything. Maybe on that I could just help whoever is asking about the timeshares. Yes. Um, I don't know. It's, it's a mist. I don't know a mystery which people have. You will have title deeds in your name, like in yeah. any other country, convincing is done. Your name is at the land registry. If you do not uh, want that property anymore, you sell it. It's in your name. You can get rid of it. You double your money or you make the money and enjoy the wealth. As Paula has said, 70 pounds a night. 
that times seven days, you wouldn't go there for less than seven days. You'd actually go there for two weeks. That's 490, 500 pounds a week. That gives you like 2,000 in a month. Then maybe for the cleaning and processing, 1.8. Where would you, in my case, invest 50,000 pounds and then be getting 1.8, 2,000 a month? Where you tell me and I will invest with you. Otherwise, you better come with me to Deja Blue and to my project. <laughs> then when you see me in business class, I've no gold bag, please. I just have properties. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Brunette. Okay. Are there any other questions? Does anyone want to unmute themselves and ask a question directly? Uh, okay, so there was one more question. What's the return of investment? Will it be through the completion of the property, then rent out, or basically on the equity? So the return of investment, of course, it's dependent on the property that you purchase, the price that you pay. But certainly, we have seen, um, you know, studio units getting a return of investment in about five to six years. But of course, you know, that just depends on the day, you know, on the on the price that you've paid, etc. Um, yes, it is usually sunny. Uh, we have had a few days of rain recently because it is the change of the season. Um, but yes, you know, it isn't, you know, we don't have we don't have snow. Um, we don't get, you know, uh, frozen windscreens in the morning. Um, Jan uh, December and January are the coldest and wettest months. Um, but still, uh, you know, we don't, uh, we rarely see temperatures go below sort of five, six, seven degrees. Um, and that's usually in the evening. Um, you know, it, it does, you know, it's, uh, it is a very, uh, a good climate throughout the year. Um, for the support of fixtures like white goods and air conditioning, yes, we can support people with that. Uh, we do have furniture shops that we work with. Um, and again, I know Brunette's online, um, you know, she's been into a couple of those shops as well. Um, there are many furniture shops here in North Cyprus. All of the developers, they offer you the opportunity of buying furniture packages as well. So if you wish to, you can do it all online. You don't have to uh, you don't have to come here to North Cyprus to do it. You can do it online if you wish to. Um, but as Freedom, yes, we do. Uh, we do offer services where, uh, you know, we have recommended furniture shops that we work alongside. Um, how long does the building take uh, to complete after final payment of 48 months for Aphrodite Aqua? Uh, the project will be completed at the end of that 48 months. That's why they're giving you the, the four years, the 48 months payment plan. Um, so at the moment, they're not due to start the project just yet. I believe that they're going to start uh, towards the end of the year. Um, but usually with most payment plans, particularly off-plan pay, off plan payment plans, um, whatever they're giving. So, you know, if they're giving you a 36 month payment plan, then the property will be completed at the end of the, the 36 months. Um, it may be that it's completed a bit before then, but you would still have your payment plan of 48 months. That's what they're offering you. Okay, uh, so in, return, in regards to legality, how safe is your asset if you're not a resident of Cyprus? Okay, so the whole process of registering your con registering your contract at the 30% mark uh, is your legal entity into the property okay obviously you haven't fully paid for it at that point you're still paying the developer the remaining amount over your contractual uh, period but the registration of that contract with our land registry office is your safety into the property um, and it means that the developer can't resell it to someone, they can't put a mortgage on the land. So it is your legal entity into that particular property. However, if there is anyone uh, that wishes to have more information about the legal side of things, obviously I'm not a lawyer, um, but we do have a very, very good um, independent recommended lawyer, and uh, they are always very happy to have Zoom calls. Um, 
I can also send you uh, or the person that invited you, if they let me know, um, I can send them recordings that we have done in the past with the lawyer talking about the legal process and going through everything. But if there is anyone uh, that would like to have a more in-depth discussion with the lawyer, we can arrange a Zoom call for that as well. That's not a problem. Okay, if a client pulls out of a mid out of mid deal, what protection or compensation would be offered? Um, of course, that depends as to where you've got in the process. Um, obviously, if you have um, the contract has been registered, then you will be legally held to your contractual obligations. Um, and that is all detailed in the contract of sale. Um, things are, you know, things can be slightly different from developer to developer and project to project. Um, but as I said at the beginning, you would have, you would see that draft contract before you agreed to the signing of the contract and the registration of the contract. Um, and at that point would be the point that you would need to discuss with the lawyer any concerns that you have. Um, the reservation fee that is paid at the beginning of the process, the £2,000 if it's an apartment, if it's a villa, then often it might be £5,000. It just depends again on the project and the, and the developer. But that reservation fee is non-refundable. Um, you can keep that reservation fee with the developer for a certain period of time and use it towards another property. Um, but again, that would be discussed at that time. But usually your reservation fee is non-refundable. Does, did anyone else? I think someone had their hand up. Did someone else want to ask a question? Directly, you can unmute yourselves and ask. Um, I've just seen another question. Hold on, I'm just looking through. Can anyone on this platform come to the end of their contract and is actually renting out yet? Or is this still in the building stage? No, um, and do we have ready to go properties? Yes, so um, as I mentioned earlier, we have everything from off plan to under construction to completed properties. Um, and um, I know, for example, a friend of Brunette's, um, she, actually, uh, she actually purchased two properties. She purchased a completed property and she purchased a property that was almost completed. Um, the completed property she is renting out already. Um, and the completed property, uh, we're just waiting for the, the final things to be finished there, and then she will be able to rent that out. Um, obviously, uh, someone like Brunette, um, as she said, she purchased in Deja Blue off plan. And as I explained, that particular project um, is almost coming to completion. Um, the handover of properties, as I said, um, as far as I'm aware, is due to start in the summer of this year. So once the properties have started to be handed over, then um, people will be able to start renting out their properties. Um, so it's something that, you know, there is completely the choice. If you wish to have, and many people, you know, they want to have something that's completed and there that they can see and they can physically touch. Um, so we have those options. Um, but of course, as I explained earlier, uh, you know, the prices tend to be higher because the project is completed um, and there is very little payment plan usually available. Um, but there is literally something for everyone. <laughs> Any other questions? Okay, uh, someone has asked about the tax implications. Uh, Tula, uh, I think it's Tula, can you, can you just unmute yourself and um, ask what you mean by that? Oh, hi, Paula. Yeah, um, I just checked. Hello there. So if I'm renting out the property and obviously getting the, the funds from the rent, what, yes. uh, do I have to pay tax on the on the um the what I get from renting out a property so how it works is that um uh there are uh taxes to be paid on rental income 
However, I will just explain, uh, the taxes on a long-term rental, when we're talking about a long-term rental, we're talking about a property that's being rented out by one person for usually a year, but it can be six months or nine months, but usually a year's contract. Um, the uh, taxes on that are, um, I believe it's 13% if you are um, advertising your property in Great British Pounds. Um, and around eight or nine percent if you're advertising the rental in Turkish lira. Now, um, currently, um, when it comes to short term rental, um, you know, like Airbnb type thing or holiday rental, that type of thing. Um, technically, those taxes are still there. However, because there are so many uh, rentals happening, um and um you know someone might rent for three nights someone might rent for seven nights etc cetera, etc cetera. they actually don't have currently a way of supporting that system um but usually what happens is that uh if you are going into a rental management contract um either with the developers rental management team or an outside company um, then they will charge you a fee usually somewhere between 30 and 35 percent now what that covers are taxes um, it covers the you know like the cleaning in and out of um, your holiday rentals um, some of them it covers you know sort of like hotel style where they welcome your guests etc cetera, etc cetera. so um, those types of um, those types of taxes are usually included in your rental management fee so you know if if the rental management fee is 30 percent it means you know say you're getting £100 a night, um, then £30 will be going to the rental management company and £70 is yours. Um, you may need to pay, obviously, you know, things like water and electric. Um, but, you know, if you were to say sort of 40% is what's being paid out for the rental management fees and um, um, and bills and things, then you're getting 60%. So, you know, that's the type of thing that's happening. Um, but as I say, if it's a long term rental, and many people do choose uh, to rent their property out long term, because it means that there's a fixed contract, and you know exactly how much money you're going to be getting every month, then, um, because usually that contract is registered at the tax office, then, um, you know, uh, there are taxes that need to be paid directly there. Um, but for short term rentals, those tax things are included um, in the in the rental management fees. OK, um, someone is asking whether two or three people can buy one property. Yes, um, group purchases have become very, very popular uh, within the last year or so. Um, and um, this particular Zoom call was called uh, Women in Property. Um, there have been many ladies that have bought together um, to make it more affordable. Um, and it would be great if we could have we could have the first men's group property purchase. That would be fantastic. Um, but yes, it is certainly possible. Um, and um, again, uh, all of that, if you decide to buy as a group, um, it's fairly clearly um, put together by the lawyer so that everybody can see their exact share of the property, et cetera, et cetera. So if anyone was interested in a group buy, again, please contact the person that invited you this afternoon. And then we could arrange a meeting um, with the lawyer on Zoom so that they can talk about it in more detail for you. Um, so the pre-launch, uh, the pre-launch of the property that I have talked about this afternoon is Aphrodite Aqua. A pre-launch means that nothing has started as yet. Uh, you are getting in at the earliest stage of the particular project. Um, for this particular project, as I said, um, I believe that they're going to start digging foundations and things later on this year. 
Um, but it does depend on the developer and the project. But the particular one that I was talking about today for Aphrodite Aqua, um, the time scale is 48 months. That's the payment plan that you're being given. So uh, the completion of the project will be in 48 months. Okay. Any other questions? Does anyone want to unmute themselves? Uh, hello, I do have a question. Can I ask, please? Yes, of course. Thank you very much for the eye opening. Um, there are some people who are on the high level of taxes in the UK already. And um, with the current market in the UK on properties, um, things have changed, whereby the properties, if it is in your name, is considered as extra income. So if you buy a property in the UK and you are preparing your self-assessment, technically you will be paying, um, the property is considered as extra income in short. But if the property is in the name of a company you've set out, then the company then benefits from, um, you know, your mortgage in terms of the interest only can be covered. Are you with me? But if you, go straight away and use your name to buy a property in the UK, especially if you have multiple properties, it becomes a problem because of the taxes. Um, offshore, I guess, projects like this. Um, what is the implication on high tax earners? What is the implication on such investment in you know? all? Do you know about you know, the fact that it has to be in the name of a company or should be in the name of the individual or you know, how do you go about it so that the taxes are not too much? Because at the moment, a lot of um, individuals who have uh, multiple houses already in the UK because of the new tax regulation are really struggling. Mm -hmm. Can I reply that? On a bit for you. As what happens in Cyprus remains in Cyprus. I don't know if I'm clear. And no one in Cyprus will come and say, how much are you making in your house which you are renting? It's your house. Anybody who's in your house, they are your lodger, they are your, your, your like tenants, it's like Airbnb. Nobody tracks you on how much you're making with your house. It's your house, it's your money. Literally, what happens in Cyprus does not get out of Cyprus that the United Kingdom will come and say, you've got five houses in Cyprus. There's nothing like that. A lot of people invest there and it remains there. Yes, currently, I don't know if that answers your question. Currently, North Cyprus doesn't share any tax information with any other country apart from America. So as Brunette said, the, the money that you earn here, if you choose to keep it here, is not shared with anyone else. That's, you know, that's for you to use as you wish. Obviously, if you decide to take the earnings that you're making here and take it back to your home country, then of course, you may be liable for tax implications in your home country. But any tax that is earned in North Cyprus, uh, that tax information is not shared with any other country currently. If I, if I can add as well, so there is a double taxation agreement between Cyprus and UK. So that means that if you've paid tax on any income in Cyprus, it doesn't attract further taxation in the UK, except as Paula said, if you then transfer the money back into the UK, that might be seen as investment income or whatever they want to classify it as. But if your money stays within Cyprus and you're withdrawing it from Cyprus or using it for buying another property or expenses or whatever, that is not shared with the UK authorities, HMRC, your bank and all of that stuff. Because you will open a bank so you can use your card to shop anyway, to buy anyway, to buy in Dubai, by the way, with freedom, there's also houses in Dubai. That's another day on another time. You're also free to come to Dubai. So when you have your card, no one stops you from your Cyprus bank card to shop where you want. It, does it make sense? 
unless you are carrying a large chunk of money into your British bank, they'll ask you where you got that money. Then it's you who's going to explain. Yet you don't have to put that money in your British bank. You get residence as well, you, you, you bank your money. A lot of people uh, keep their money safe in Cyprus and spend it. Very wealthy people, not to mention names. <laughs> Does anyone else have any other questions? Mona Lisa, Sandra, would you like to add anything? No, we're good, Paula. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Thanks, Brunette. Thanks, Tola. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. We will be sharing the recording uh, once we receive it from Paula, if you want to go back and refresh. But other than that, have a lovely evening. Enjoy the rest of your, your day, if it's afternoon where you are. Uh, again, thank you, Mona Lisa. Thank you, Sandra, for organizing this this afternoon. Um, I really hope that we've been able to give you some useful information. Um, as Mona Lisa said, the recording of this will be available shortly um, and will be sent out to you. If anyone does have any questions that they'd like to ask, they'd like to know more about the uh, project that we advertised here, the pre-launch uh, project of Aphrodite Aqua, uh, or any other projects that we have available, then please don't hesitate to contact the person that invited you today. Um, and um, I know that they will be in contact with me and we can arrange another Zoom call. Um, but uh, as uh, Mona Lisa said, I hope that you all have a good rest of the afternoon or evening. Um, and it was lovely to meet you all. I hope to see you all very, very soon. Thank, Thank you, Paula. Thank you, Paula. Take care. Take bye -bye. care. Bye, Thank everyone. You, Paula, bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.